away. Go to the other way. He's 92 years old. They're beating that at 92. This is How can you do this? The world press, you know, the world press. What's the reason for the rest of you? I hope you're proud. 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 What's the reason for the rest of you? Can you tell us what he's been arrested for? Could you please explain what he's been arrested for? What crime has he committed? What crime has this elderly man committed? This is crazy. He can barely stand. Guys, back, please. What's he been arrested for? Let you go! Bail will 
most likely this will be appealed to the High Court within hours or a few days. And uh, we would expect this to be overturned. But frankly, as I say, it doesn't make any sense from any point of view. I want to draw your attention as well to the fact that the United States has already indicated that they are seeing a defeat in this pursuit, in this unjust persecution. Let me draw your attention to a statement by the very man who signed the first indictment in the Eastern District of Virginia, a man who is about to leave office, he was appointed by Trump. He stated that he was totally unsure that the case against Julian Assange would be continued under the new administration. He said, well, we spend a lot of resources on that. Maybe the new administration incoming will simply decide to drop the case. That's an extraordinary statement. It's an indication that they are, in essence, accepting this has gone way too far. It's about time to let it go. So the fight will continue. The fight for Julian, we want him out. If the opposition will appeal, there will be that. We still want the President of the United States, or the one soon leaving office and the one coming in, to consider pardon. We want this to end, but we are confident that justice will prevail. I'm getting in the car, 